Hi friends, welcome to Cyber Training. My name is Zia. Today I'm going to teach you how to find out the lowest available price for a uh, particular sector. This is very useful entry for the travel agents to find out the best available fare in the market. So this entry also known as general records. So we are uh, going to find the cheapest fare. So this is the command JR enter. It's very simple. You just fill up the column. You don't need to fill up the all all this column. You don't need to confuse. Uh, this is very simple. You can uh, put P here in the first column for pricing. Once you enter the P, the cursor will come to next column automatically. Then you just keep it as end there by default. No need to. Uh, amend there just put tab this is you can see here x x means uh, the stops so number three is there by default you can keep it as it is come to this one this is for priority so system giving number one for price number two for uh, direct flight and number three for uh, time and so on so so uh, this is not really important just keep it as it is and come to from column this is important one you have to type there your departure city and come to next column this is you can type here uh, destination this is the destination okay Heathrow is your destination and uh, under dates you can enter your uh, I am searching for 15th of August from Bahrain to Heathrow. So I just enter 15th of August there uh, and time by default 700 hours is there. No need to amend. If you want, you can amend there. It is 24 hours clock. You can enter any uh, timing there. I am keeping it as it is. And this is for carrier. So if you want to search for a particular carrier, you can enter here for British Airways or Lufthansa. You can enter any any carrier here. I am uh, just keeping it as blank because I want to get the cheapest fare uh, from any airlines. So just uh, keeping it as uh, a blank. And this is important one, cabin. Uh, why is there by default? Uh, this is for economy. And if you want to find for uh, business class fare, you can type C there. Or uh, if you are finding for uh, first class, you can type it there. F, F, is, F stands for uh, business. Sorry, uh, first class and C stands for uh, business. And Y stands for uh, economy. And come to next column. I'm searching for only one way. So uh, uh, I'm keeping it as blank. bottom of this mask you can see maximum stay you don't need to uh, enter any any uh, anything there uh, okay just tap and this is important one passenger if you are searching for uh, multiple passengers you can enter here I'm searching for only one adult so it is there by default no need to amend this one and if you have uh, uh, more uh, types of passengers like child or infant you can add also here uh, you have uh, suppose for example you have if you have uh, one child you can enter one CNN CNN is the passenger type code so you can enter one CNN and uh, Suppose if you have infant, also you can enter here. Okay, one C, one adult, one child, and one infant. So I have only one passenger, so I don't want to enter child or infant here. So I'm just deleting this one. So once you finish, this is not really important. Okay, these columns, you just keep it as it is. Okay, once you enter the date, just. Uh, 
fill up this column if you have uh, more passengers or on if you have only one passenger just keep it as it is just enter see this is the result from the saber now you can see the options here itinerary options system is giving multiple options uh, number one is offering by egypt air the, the fare is 1347 you can see here this is the routing 15th of august from bahrain to cairo and uh, 16th of august from cairo to Heathrow. so validating carrier you can see here this is the ms means egypt air this is the total fare if you have multiple passengers system uh, gives you uh, here the uh, see this is only one adult i uh, I, I am searching for only one adult that's why system is giving one adult adult fare only if you are searching for multiple passengers like multiple uh, like you know child or infant system will give you here the face and total fare also okay and uh, this is the number two option by Turkish Airlines okay this is from Bahrain to Istanbul and Istanbul to London which is Heathrow and the validating carrier is Turkish okay some uh, and uh, the number three also giving by Turkish Airlines but this look at here in the uh, option number two the this is the immediate connection from uh, Istanbul but option number three you have some uh, more layover time there in Istanbul and uh, uh, look at here this one this is cross of Lauren uh, if you find this cross of Lauren on the right side of the screen that means you have something else in the down okay by entering MD you can uh, have all the options okay more options like number five number six C number six is given by Kalam so 15th of uh, from uh, Bahrain to Amsterdam see from Amsterdam to Heathrow operated by city hopper from uh, Amsterdam to Heathrow the fare is one nine four one so uh, you have more option because you know you are uh, you can see here the cross of Lauren so uh, if you put more down you can see more option there so I don't want to see more option I ha I'm okay with uh, Turkish Airlines because this is uh, immediate connection and giving also good fare so I'm going to book it so before you are going to book it you have to find out the option number so see this is the uh, itinerary option number two I'm going to uh, book this flight so the option number is two Let's enter JR then option number two enter once you enter see system automatically book your flight the 15th of August from Bahrain to Istanbul then Istanbul to London so this is your uh, booked flight for your passenger and you can uh, add the passenger details and make the reservation here so uh, this is the entry to find out the lowest price for a particular sector okay thank you for watching my video and hope you would like this and uh, please subscribe me if you would like to watch more updated videos and saber thank you thank you for watching